type of issue with single mothers. Usually it's black men because black men are the only ones who seem to have a difficult time with, you know, caring for someone other than themselves. And I'm yep, another. Another one. Single mother. Another one. Yep. Another one. A lot of times they don't have the resources to be able to take care of their own damn children. So why in the world would they take care of another man's? One guy said he likes to sit there and watch women make mistakes with other men because, you know, women choose poorly. And I was thinking to myself, what a way to not take accountability and to show the world that you lack leadership skills. You are part of the problem, sir. Why haven't you tried to lead any of the women inside of your community? Teach women to choose better if, in fact, they're the problem. Black. Ask Dr. Umar how that's going. Ask Dr. Umar, how is it going with teaching women how to pick better? Ask Dr. Umar, how is going with his programs and stuff to teach black women how to choose better men? That's all I said. Ask Dr. Umar, how is going, how he's, che he's treating or he's teaching or how he's informing black women to pick good black men. Ask Dr. Umar, since he's pro everything. Ask Dr. Umar how his campaign is going. Black men blame black women for damn Hurricane Katrina. And you wonder why we're walking around here wanting to control everything. If we are going to take responsibility and accountability for the brokenness of the black community. Yeah, I don't take accountability. Yeah, I don't hold nothing accountable. It's, it's, the word accountability is considered a joke to y'all. She's not even accountable for her weight right now. If we brought up her weight, she'll see, oh, you, you, you bash. No, we're, we're holding you accountable. We have this stigma in, in this community that we have overweight women in our community. We have this, we, we want to get away from that stigma. Are you going to get away from No. We have a stigma of single moms in this community. We want to get away from it. She's that stigma. That's two stigmas. She's overweight. She's a single mother. That's two of them, right? We have a thing that women are focused on the education and not focused on relationships or marriage. White girls go to school to go find husbands. Black women go to school to go get degrees and get away from men. But then when a man after they're done to get all the career stuff going backwards. So she went to school, got her degree, slept with a whole bunch of men to the age of 33. And she got a degree. She's a single mom. She's overweight and she's educated and proud and smart. So every stigma, and she's loud, and she's combative, and she's not submissive. Every stigma out there, she embody it. So where is the accountability? Because you embody every single stigma. Where's the accountability? Unity. Then we have to start taking control. No wonder you can't get no women to submit to you, sir. You in your feminine energy. She did it. It wasn't me. It's the black single mothers who were abandoned with the child. They're the reason why the community is the way that it is. She <laughs> slept with a, a married man and got pregnant. Tell me where do you make a smart decision in that situation? She slept with a married man and got pregnant by a married man. She has a kid by a married man. And she's giving that advice. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you, Boneheads, that you look at your male counterparts and high five them for abandoning women with children, and then you turn around and criticize these same women for taking responsibility and actually raising their kids instead of walking out of their kids' lives? You gave birth to him, so you gave birth to him. Uh, you had a choice of everything when it comes to getting pregnant. You had a choice of taking a plan B. You had a choice of saying you should use protection when you deal with me. You had nothing but choices and you still chose wrong. So I don't know what, did, where, where's this accountability you keep screaming of because you're not holding yourself accountable to nothing you did. Now, one time she blames herself. Now, one time I always tell guys, well, if, if a guy's complaining about relationship, you know what we guys do? We blame him. What did you do? Not what she did. What did you do? Because women are going to, women are only, can excel with a good leader but if she's so bad you don't pick her to be behind you and, and follow your leadership so you'd be like go ahead and go back to the streets but 
if a man fails, we don't blame the woman. We blame the man. We'd be like, your leadership wasn't strong enough. There's something lacking. You got to get better. Because if you are that good of a man, you'll find another girl like this. Because that leadership is so good. That means she messed up. But we're going to sit here and still blame you as a man. Because your leadership should be top, top, top tier. It, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to be crazy successful. You just got to be a man of value. Purpose. But we blame men when their relationship don't fall. But we don't blame women when their relationship fall. Women don't blame women when the relationship fall. They blame the man still. But we don't blame women. We blame the man. When I talk about this stuff, I'm blaming women for making their own decisions. Women blame us for everything else. We are accountable. We say, yes, I made mistakes. I'm not perfect. When my relationship didn't work out because my leadership was slacking. And I could honestly say that. But I'm not going to sit here and say, I was, it was, no, it was her. No, it was my fault. I'm the leader. You, I hold the weight when this ship or this team don't make it. I take responsibility because I'm the leader. But when you go out there and pick a man, that's your responsibility, ladies. That's your responsibility. Y'all are stupid. My crotch fruit, they are a burden. They are baggage. This is the future of my community I done gave birth to. Get me good one time. My son's father wanted me to give my son up for adoption. He wanted to relinquish his own responsibility and accountability to a human being, a piece of his damn self. You gave birth to him. I'm sorry, but you did. You gave birth to him. If he tell you he didn't want a kid and you still brought the kid over, that means it's your responsibility. He didn't ask for that responsibility. If you slept with a married man, if you slept with a married man and he said he didn't want no kids with you and you decide to have kids, that was your decision. It wasn't his decision because he told you no. And you said yes. And now you want to put response. No, it doesn't work like that. Meanwhile, I took accountability and responsibility of my child by myself. But I'm the big man wolf, though. <laughs> Y'all ass backwards, man. Told the men Jesus. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. I will send you to Jesus. I will send you to Jesus. But like, I'm subscribed, guys. Like, I'm subscribed. Let's go to the next one.